Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Abu Karim 2023 presidential campaign plans leaked vows to sustain Buhari's legacy. Now, wow. You know that guy with always the only Buhari picture he hide for corner. Always the wear red cap. He won't become president. <laughs> Nigerians, let's go there. We go straight to the news. Abu Karim, with Nigerians' general election only three years away, so many political presidential aspirants has been taught and fired on on good people of Nigeria. Going on by the popular mandates, who, he who fails to plan, plans to fail. Someone in President Muhammad Buhari's cabinet is leaving no stone unturned. Plans of Abu Karim 2023 presidential election bid has been uncovered. Wow. A Twitter user popularly known as Aye shared a leaked photo of Abu Karim 2023 presidential campaign surveyors. <laughs> Judging by all indications, his campaign could be could commence anytime soon. His campaign is targeted sustainability 2023 continue sustainability and with what we will argue as a controversial slogan which reads towards sustaining the good policies and ideologies of president muhammad buhari few weeks ago a memo which was leaked was the presidential chief of staff was accused by the national security advisor of my summing and overriding the presidential directives to impose his. Some Nigerians have the opinion that the country is being led by Abu Karim, going by the leaked memo. And some people began to react. <laughs> they said all the Northerners are mad. What will happen with this region, regional thing they are talking about? Abu Karim will be president for 16 years, not just eight years. Unfortunately, we can take it as a joke, but the truth of it is that Yoruba Muslims don't see what you guys are saying. They support the North as well. There shouldn't be need for elect elections and all the camera actions because you know, what's going on now is the, the, brutal, the brutality of human lives and property. Abu Karim is promising Buhari to continue in that legacy of what Boko Haram is currently doing in the country. So the guy and since an IT night day, na no no na IT. You look up President Muhammad Buhari's picture. You go see Abu Karimi hide for corner. You go see and they look the picture. Can't you see for yourself that this guy is constantly all around Buhari? It's been alleged that the president of the country is not the president Muhammad Buhari that was elected in in 2015. Apparently, the alleged um, word statement is that he, the Buhari, the, the person that was elected in, um, died during um, the other time he was sick and went to London for a few months for um, medical checkup. But the North covered it up because of what happened to Yaradua. They didn't want a repeat that um, a, a, a South Anan or a South West or South South whichever we become the president just like it happened in the case of Yaradua and so what they did was that they picked a look-alike someone who looks um, almost like Buhari and, it, and they conveniently replaced him into the Nigerian population and if you notice uh, the alleged words are that you can hardly notice that um, you know you hardly notice him involving himself in um, Poly, you know um, anything outwardly that could you know um, bring about him discussing with Nigeria take for instance the issue of him addressing Nigeria and um, AIT being um, asked not to cover it you could see that the president hardly speaks um, the president's wife uh, is the one that we are always hearing about and they're always talking about not the 
president you know abu karim has been alleged remember the other time that abu karim and mongona came up you know there was this rift between both of them mongona saying abu karim was the one controlling the nation and not buhari that he undermines everybody uh, everybody plans and he just does as he pleases you know so uh right now what we are saying is no longer uh, uh, uh it's no longer whether not true or not lie you don't know see him for yourself now this guy he get political plans and he don't they he don't they put him into action these are leaked things you know all the one in the show mole and uh to know that they fight for <laughs> now they were on herself Buari, eh? <laughs> that guy eh? <laughs> My man, no. they plant things, they arrange things. Bukharim, they IT, they teach them how to rule a country. You know, and they won't continue in Buhari's legacy. Oh. So the killing, the destruction of life and property is part of the plans to continue to hold Nigerian hostage. But it's just very unfortunate that some people, um, because of religious, um, because of a religious ethnicity, kind of share this idea. They don't see the larger picture that Nigerian is that Nigeria is beyond just a few people. Nigeria belongs to everybody and as such we can make this nation what we want it to be. America built their country, hence everyone is going there for holiday, sending their children there and you know who has the opportunity is going over for a better life. Why can't we do same to our country? Why can't we do same to our nation to make it a great place that even if they are not coming here to stay at least they are coming here for they are coming here for you know for for tourism and guess what that does it brought the gdp of the country increases it brings about productivity it brings about growth for instance the aviation industry people will pay they will pay flight fare now uh -huh. and when they come they go back they go stay hotel these are ways of uh, you know um, enhancing revenues for the com for the country people that are in Involved in that being those business, you see them, you know, getting revenue and Nigeria will become a better place. The economy will bloom. You know, these are some of the things that we need to look the bigger picture. We need to sincerely look at rather than being myopic and thinking about religious ethnicity and try and this division thing that we have within ourselves we need to sort it out and call a spade a spade we need to put the right persons in uh, in politics so that we all can enjoy nigeria we can make nigeria so great that uh, it become the envy of other nations but no buari wife tell us say Pekin just come from london who did they deceive just come from London. What happened to all the good schools we have in Nigeria? We cannot effectively put these schools to good use. Effectively, you know, you, you see Trump picking come come uh, Nigeria and come school. Or you see and say go UK, go school. No, they know they happen. I mean now uh, everybody in the UK, their children, you see the, you see their children, you, you see the Queen's children, Charles, Harry, um, what's his name? They all schooled in the UK. They all went to Oxford. They all went through Cambridge. Be why? Because they've made they've made their country uh, a place that people look out to come for, come to. Not they don't go to people's country. They stay. They don't. They don't do that. They don't. They don't go to other people's country. They stay in their country. You know, they, they make their country great. Their children school in their country. Their children go. They, they go school for their country. Then they go in their places. Go to school. Not only Nigeria, I see all their children. Why why the woman tell us say my daughter just come from UK and uh, they is isolate. To whom is my concern? What's my business? She's isolating here. Yeah? So is that what Nigeria is talking about? Is that the way forward? You know, thank God for you. You can send your daughter to the UK. What have you what system have you put in place? Now that um minimum wage, now parents want to send their children, go how much be the minimum wage? Now you want to save, take, 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 say Sam Peking, go UK, go school. And not be with Chebele, not be they go, they go embassy. You see what they are doing. They just continue to make, they just continue to make Nigeria look like, you know, it's for, it's for the elites. Then guess what? Their children will school abroad, come back and begin to rule again. Which kind of country will they? This should not be done. This should not be done. It should not be done. In no way or form is it right. Yet they will they will they will not mind about uh, about the Nigerian population, all the youths, all the youths, gifted people, eh? All the girls that were kidnapped by uh, Boko Haram. They said they will send those girls go abroad. They will send the Boko Haram, they go abroad. Can you see confusion? This country eh, not scam. Hmm. This country eh, not scam. Hmm. Abu Karim Naso, you don't hear him. He won't become president. Oh. He won't continue the legacy of the Boko Haram and the rest and the rest. Oh. 
now so my people, I, I would like to hear your take on this matter. So no no say since na IT na Bukarim day. When you see an all over Bu Buhari, na IT the guy day, na we did they deceive. Na IT the guy day. What did they thought say they, they, they fight, say if they give a uh, order. No, it don't the teach and I did IT. <laughs> Never see anything. God go help us for this country. Thanks everyone for listening. I want to really appreciate you. Please don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. You have a voice. Please use it. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.